Ahoy me! Are you planning to build a video editing PC but you're on a tight budget? Well, look no further. I was in the same boat last year. In this video, I'm going to show you my budget editing PC. The main video editing programs I use are Premiere Pro and After Effects. And as a short background, I'm a full-time short form video editor. And I also create motion graphics. And of course, I edit my own YouTube videos. Just last year, I was using an i5 8th generation computer. I was experiencing lag issues so I had to upgrade. It was fine when my timeline isn't that complicated. But my job required more complex edit. I also had to sell one of my bikes just to purchase this PC. Plus, I'm expecting my first baby so my budget is really limited. For the case, I selected MSI Magforce M100R. It's an MATX case. I just keep the side panel open so I can keep my PC cool. Just make sure you don't have pet rats when you're going to do this. For the CPU, I still went with the i5 but upgraded to the 13500 generation which comes with integrated graphics. And it's what most of the video editors suggested in the group I'm in. I would really prefer the i7 if I have a much bigger budget. In my experience, I really felt a difference between using the i5 in generation compared to using the 13th generation. For the motherboard, I got the B760M DSRH. What's cool about this motherboard is it has Wi-Fi connectivity. For the RAM, it's a Team Group T4 Stark ZA 16GB kit. I bought two of those so I got 32GB of RAM. In my experience in video editing, I haven't seen the full 32GB get used up. I just decided to go straight with the 32GB of RAM so I don't have to upgrade. No. While for the GPU, I got the Galax GeForce GTX 1660 Super. The 1660 Super has 6 gigabytes of VRAM. At first, I was able to get away with not using a dedicated graphics card. But I'm seeing that my CPU is heating up because of the load. So after 2 months, I decided to get a GPU so I can also export faster. For the storage, I got the Crucial P3 Plus SSD. This SSD has 1 terabyte of storage. I also bought the WD 2 terabyte HDD. Plus I haven't sold my old 1 terabyte byte of HDD, I just added it to my new setup. While for the power supply, it's a Seasonic 500 watts 80 plus bronze. 500 watts is enough for my PC but I should have got the 600 watts for future proofing. Your power supply is also a very important component in your setup so just go with well-known brands. So the total cost is 49,200 pesos. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with my PC's performance knowing that I have limited budget. I can really feel the difference upon upgrading but I still experience a bit of lag when my timeline gets too complicated. I'm expecting to use this machine in the next 5 years. Then I'm planning to get the i7. Thank you all for watching. Please like this video if it helps.